All right, so throughout this course, we have introduced a lot of different terms and phrases and acronyms. We've talked to you about onion routing and Tor and Bitcoin and Tails and PGP and the dark web and dark net markets and all these different things. And you may not know exactly what each thing means. So this module, the first one in the last section of this course, is going to focus on the vocabulary. And be sure you pay attention here because there will be a quiz after this module. So let's jump into it here and cover some of the vocabulary we talked about throughout this course. So one of the first things you should be comfortable with is PGP. PGP stands for Pretty Good Privacy, and it's a way to encrypt messages on the dark web. You then have Tor, which was the Onion browser we used to search the dark web. And one thing we didn't really talk about is Grams. And Grams is a compilation of some popular search tools and an info desk to give information about vendors on darknet markets. But another thing we did talk about was Tails, which was an operating system used to increase security. We had Bitcoin, which is an online currency used for privacy. We have a VPN, which was a way to encrypt traffic to the web. We have a proxy, which is the same as a VPN, but a little less encryption. We have Electrum, which was a private Bitcoin wallet. We have Helix, which was a Bitcoin tumbler and the best one out there. And if you didn't know what tumbling was already, because we didn't really talk about that either, tumbling is basically where you trade your Bitcoin with someone else's to anonymize the blockchain. And the blockchain, if you didn't know as well, is just a transaction database on Bitcoin. And then we had escrow, which is the use of a third party to ensure that a transaction payment will be made. Some of these terms we talked about, some of them we did not, but you will need to know all of them um, going into using the dark web or talking about it. Uh, these are all important concepts to master and be aware of. And if you decide to take any of the other courses offered on darkwebacademy.com, these are terms you're going to have to be comfortable with. And other courses, we introduce you a little more to these and explain them a little better. Be sure you know this vocabulary. And go ahead and take that quiz after this module and test your knowledge. See how closely you can get to 100% there. And then uh, once you pass that, you can head on to the next module. We'll be talking a little bit about the acronyms we've used throughout this course.